Scott. Sarah. Touchy-feely time. Don't you think you slept in long enough? I thought it was Saturday, then Sunday. Then I figured someone turned the alarm off. You're awake. You're actually awake. Okay, I honestly didn't think that you were ever going to wake up at this point. I've missed you. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. Thanks. No one could have saved him, Scott. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. That would have been a hell of a thing to wake up to. I know. I'll miss him. But right about now, he'd be telling us to stop moaning and get on with it. <laughs> There's no shortage of things to do. Yeah, I hear you're the great and honorable Madam Pathfinder. Ah, uh, don't you start. Please, it's nothing like that. As soon as I get my gear, well... Careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? Uh, me. Pathfinder. Weren't you just calling me Madam Pathfinder a minute ago? I get to, uh... I finally get to be the one to call the shots! I am never letting you forget this moment, ever. The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <sighs> Pulling rank already. Yup. Better hope I never tell anyone about that year you only ate paste. Listen! Was it first grade or second? Never telling. You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. I'll be right there. I just want to talk to Scott for a minute. Hey, bro! Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? Take a, deep breath. a little. Though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. Yeah, but don't worry. It's just the fate of the universe and all this other stuff that's kind of hanging in the balance, but... It's fine. It's totally fine. Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network we're trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. I mean, we all have our things in life that we have to try to figure out, and I'm proud of you, Scott. You'll master that in no time. Listen, Dad was keeping secrets, and you need to know that. You should also know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess Rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? I have no idea. I've seen parts of his memories, and I, I've kind of pieced some of it together, but there's still a couple blank spots, if you will. Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You and I were there, so was Mom. You actually saw her? Yeah. It was at the hospital the day she died. And that reunion dinner she wanted us at so badly. Right. Dad was his usual talkative self. But there was something else. I saw Dad talk with a benefactor in the Milky Way. Some initiative bigwig I'd never heard of. That's news to me. Yeah, I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. Listen, Scott, I'm going to let you get some rest. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. Now I get it. It'll get better. Not before you find that Meridian. I want in. I'll take pictures. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. Oh? We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. 
The cat won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. Okay. It could buy you some time. And what happens if it doesn't? Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Yes, I will. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. Excellent. A risk comes with a job. Part of being a pathfinder. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Listen, I want you to know I appreciate it. All of you doing this for us. Because this is it. If we don't win this here, we don't win at all. So we have to make Meridian count at this point. Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. First, you'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous at Meridian. All right. Good luck. You too. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have they incorporated? What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Hmm. Is there anything about the benefactor? I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Jen Garson, who founded the initiative. But it wasn't. I guess Yen's the visionary, the one who gets everyone excited about the project and drums up publicity. But then this benefactor apparently provides resources and money. And I mean a lot of money. It's a little unusual. But everything about this project is. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if Director Tan knows anything about this. Worth talking to him. And then what about this one, Sam? I accepted the initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. <laughs> There's no other option left. Sam will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But, but. Ellen's getting worse. I can't fail her. All right, well, I see that where that was going with Dad. Listen, is there anything else about Mom's disease, Sam? Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. And then, Sam, there's still one labeled encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Okay. Thanks, Sam. All right, so I guess I'm going to go talk to Tan quickly. See if there's anything about this benefactor. I wonder if Tan does know anything about the benefactor. I almost highly doubt it. Tan was, I mean, what number in the succession log? So far down, but... I mean, the fact that Tan even was part of somebody that could potentially become part or a head of the initiative must mean that Tan knows something, right? Oh, that doesn't leave me with happy feelings. Going with Art Lucinia. The assault. Ryder, I trust there are no hard feelings. As tempting as Meridian may be, caution must guide us. Did you really just say you hope that there are no hard feelings, Tan? Dan, there is no such thing as caution anymore. I don't know if you know this, but caution went out the window the moment that you entered onto one of the arcs and went into cryostasis and went 600 years in the future traveling to come here. I just, I don't understand you at all. This is what I do, and you're not letting me do my job. Director, it's my job as Pathfinder to take risks. Meridian is our chance to find a home. What else matters? Avoiding wholesale slaughter at the hands of the Ket, for one. That's happening that either could way. happen anyway. It's worth the risk. The leadership disagrees. That's our final word. Did you have some other business? Unfortunately, have you heard about a benefactor? I'm curious. What do you know about the people who backed the initiative? What everyone knows. Gian Carson was the founder and visionary. Unfortunately, she died on the Nexus during the Scourge disaster. 
Is there anyone else? I would almost welcome them. A voice to silence the rabble. Then Cash might listen. But now we're alone. Why do you ask? Oh, just kind of wishful thinking on my part. You know how it goes. <laughs> no reason. Guess I was hoping the cavalry was on the way. Yes. If only she'd left. If only. No, Gian Carson was the beacon. A sad end to someone of such stature. Dying alone. Alone? Oh? It was chaos. By the time they found her, she was already dead. Succumbed to her injuries. That's... really convenient, huh? That's some kind of luck. Dying after 600 year trips she organized personally? No one ever said fate is kind. Yeah, that's fair. If you're suggesting something else happened, Ryder, I'd rather you didn't. Let's not add to the confusion. Thank you for your time. Ryder, yeah. if you wish to pursue this further, accessing Nexus security records may reveal more information. Okay, what are we looking for, Sam? Any information relating to Jean Garson's death. All right, let's do this. Huh. The only hard fact is that her body was found in one of the apartments. Then connecting her death to the Scourge disaster was mere speculation. Agreed. Yeah, they just wanted this to go away. I think we need to check out that apartment. Environmental data will allow us to reconstruct the scene. Excellent. Let's get this done, Sam. I want answers and I want them now. This is where Jean Garson's body was discovered. What are we looking for? If you scan the room, environmental data may allow for scene recreation. Okay. Let's do it. Start scanning now. Tell me... Oh! Sam? There. This was no accident. She was murdered. As this incident occurred over a year ago, her killer is likely far away by now. Likely. Yeah. But... Wait. This whole area was shuttered back then. Didn't open till the Hyperion arrived. So what was Garson even doing here? Perhaps a further scan of the room is in order. Alright, what am I looking for now? Hidden walls? Anything? Okay, I was kind of joking about a hidden wall, Sam. A hidden door. What do we have here? What? What is this? Who's been here? Uh, in 2179, once mentioned a storm is coming, said evidence was clear, meaning Andromeda, why? Hyperion, still no contact. Where's Alec? Did they get him to? Did who get who to? What? Uh, what about this one? This is Gian Garson. I don't have much time. I've been hiding in the sealed off sections of the Nexus since we got here. Someone's trying to kill me. And now I can hear them down in the hydroponics area. They're coming. What? I've embedded what I know in my VI in the cultural center. This log has the code. And whatever happens... Oh god, they're outside the door. Okay. Wow, this is some serious shit. Yes, deeply troubling. I have the code she mentioned for the VI kiosk. Alright, let's go see what this uh, VI kiosk has then. Sam... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That this ties into the benefactor somehow? Does it tie into the benefactor? I know how dad died, but do I know how dad died? Sure glad I, went to that, for this. I don't know, Sam. Something is not adding up. One of the only other people that conveniently knew about the benefactor outside of Gene Garson also died. I just feel like that's a little too convenient. Hey, Sam. How did Garson embed anything into their, uh, VI when Garson was, like, this wasn't set up when everything went down? That's a little weird, right? Welcome to the culture. Hello there, Amber. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would like to hear more about your secret plans, actually. Sam, can we hear that message Garson talked about? Unlocking it now. Rerouting to our private channel. Thank you. For years, there was a silent partner involved with the initiative. The truth is, I was running out of money. Then a benefactor stepped in. I didn't ask questions. I never met them face to face. That was a mistake. I lied to everyone. 
Something big spooked them in the Milky Way, and now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for the good, but I have my doubts, and now I think they're going to remove me. Alec Ryder and I had a code word for this. Fulcrum. He may have learned more. What's that mean, something big in the Milky Way? Perhaps the answer is in your father's final locked memory. It is now available to view in Samnode. Let's go check that out. Fulcrum. And Jean Garson knew that she was being targeted, potentially? Was Dad the only other Pathfinder that knew about this, Sam? He couldn't have been, could he? Yeah, he definitely could have been. Hey, Sam. If you were somebody really shady that needed to move a hundred thousand of any kind of species, multiple species, whatever, really quickly, and you needed somebody at the head of it that could handle the pressure, wouldn't you go after an N7? I mean, think about it. Dad was the best of the best, right? He had seen a lot of stuff. He didn't get rattled easily. They had to have offered him something, though, outside of fixing you. What was it? Why did they need an N7? Why would they let an N7 in on the secret? Why would a benefactor who didn't really contact anybody else, why would they contact Dad unless there was something that was just so important and so scary nobody else could know? Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you, and then Seven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war. The scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pot is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <clears throat> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <clears throat> There's still hope for your mother. <clears throat> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, there is so much to unpack from that one memory. So, is the Milky Way just, what, destroyed? Was... What are the Reapers? Why didn't Dad tell any of us about them? And then... I was... And that phone call when he was like, hey, we've got to go, and pretty much all of my bridges have been burnt at that point, so, you know, it was fine coming to Andromeda. 
I mean, we had lost mom. What else did we have? And now to find out what mom is alive technically ish in stasis and that the Milky Way. I mean, who knows what happened there? Hopefully we won. Maybe we'll hear back from them at some point. And then I wasn't made Pathfinder for the right reasons, was I? I wasn't made Pathfinder because Dad thought I'd be a good Pathfinder. Dad made me Pathfinder to save Mom. Dad and I never got along. I mean, I tried, and he tried, but I don't know if it was just that we were too similar in some ways or just just so different in other ways that we just never, it never really clicked quite the way that it should have, but... I don't know. I guess the whole time we've been here in the back of my head, I thought, wow, maybe dad and I actually did understand each other better than I thought. And maybe he saw something in me or believed in me enough to do this, to lead everybody because he needed this to be finished. And that's why he made me Pathfinder and didn't let Cora just become Pathfinder like she should have been. No, it wasn't that at all, was it? It was mom. So on one hand, I'm grateful because, hey, maybe one day we can cure mom and get her out of stasis and I can have my mom back. But on the other hand, I don't even, I don't know how to process the fact that I'm not Pathfinder for the reasons that I should be Pathfinder. I'm not Pathfinder because I have exceptional talent at one thing or another. I'm Pathfinder simply because my dad needed my mom to live and i get that i do i 100 percent get that but i don't know sam it just doesn't sit right it doesn't feel right and uh, i wish i could talk to him i wish i could really talk to him and get the real reasons and I'd, I'd like to hear why he thought that he couldn't just give me the memory of mom and let me handle the whole getting mom out of stasis and let cora be pathfinder why did i have to be pathfinder on top of it why couldn't I have just kept my connection to you and saved mom and not been Pathfinder? Why did it have to be all or nothing? Is there something more that I don't know? Why am I the one now that has to be the only person on the Nexus that we know of that has knowledge? I'm the only person that knows about the benefactor. Sam? Sam, I have some pretty dangerous knowledge, I guess now, huh? So on top of that, <laughs> I've got this and I'm going to have to unravel this mystery once I deal with the Archon because I need to know who the benefactor is and where they are. Maybe one day I'll find them. Also, who really killed Jean Garson? That's also all up in the air. I don't know who actually made the murder and if they're even still alive. So, you know, there's a lot right now, Sam. There's a lot. Dad should have told us, though, no matter what, that he had put mom in stasis and put her on an arc. That wasn't fair at all. That should have been something that the three of us dealt with together. This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. That's what I thought. Where's mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Helen is in a stasis pod under a false name, Elizabeth Riley. So I was right. You just confirmed it. Then, the reason I was made Pathfinder was solely to see Mom able to be woken up from stasis and cured. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what happens now, Sam? What happens if somebody else finds out that I wasn't made Pathfinder for the what most would deem the right reasons? When they find out that this was the only reason. I mean, it's not like you and I can ever be untangled. So they can't ever unmake me Pathfinder. Because if they do, it'll probably kill me. So at least there's that. They're stuck with me as their Pathfinder, no matter what. Uh, it's just, it's going to take a little bit of time to, uh, to let that just fully sink in. And I don't know. I don't think I can ever really forgive dad for it, but I guess, I don't know, just be able to talk about it without wanting to punch somebody. So tell me more about the Reapers. Now we know what Gian Garson meant. But something big spooked the benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, 
The Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. Okay. So, do we know, though, if these Reapers have fanned out into other galaxies or anything like that? Are they Milky Way specific? Is that something that we potentially have to worry about here in a different form, maybe? Maybe not the Reapers exactly, but is this something that's just common in the universe i wish we had more information but do you know anything about if the milky way made it that was over 600 years ago was shepherd right did the reapers come back additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked their implications are troubling okay your father believed it prudent that you have this information should anything happen to him and then what about gene garson's murder but why was gene garson murdered Recall Garson's words about the benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was or is the benefactor? Unknown. I guess the even better question is, did the benefactor come to Andromeda? Did they stay in the Milky Way? I don't know. I get it though. hundred thousand of us, right? It's just a viable enough amount of people per species to repopulate it sounds like the benefactor knew about this thing this threat these reapers for a while even before they contacted dad they must have known about the extinction cycle so what they decided to pack up enough of us to repopulate that's that's all it can be so that's what this was andromeda wasn't the scientific exploration adventure that everybody signed up for I guess we've come to the understanding that it was instead, hey, come to Andromeda and repopulate a new area because the Milky Way is possibly gone. <laughs> hey, Sam, what do you know about Dad's plan? So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Scott could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. All right. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate it. Got it. I need to go find Mom. But first, I want to see what's on the computer about the Reapers. 